Welcome back to Huchos. Uh, last time on Huchos, we installed an auxiliary battery system in the van. And today, we'll be hooking it up to a solar charge controller and running the load through a switching panel so that we have a 12 volt outlet and USB connectivity. We'll also be running a 1500 watt pure sine wave power inverter directly from the battery. And we'll be hooking it all up with some 50 amp cable um, and Anderson plugs. Alrighty, let's get to it. So the solar charge controller that I've chosen to go with for this install is the Victron Energy Smart Solar MPPT 100 volt 20 amp smart charge controller with Bluetooth so that I can monitor my usage in the van through my phone. Um, this is the smallest MPPT charge controller that I could go with the 300 watt solar array that I have ordered. Now I'm going to disassemble the van a little uh, in order to make the wires run from the battery terminals under the passenger seat down underneath the flooring and up through the side of the kitchen. So I've run the cable from the front of the van at the auxiliary batteries to underneath the sink where I've put an Anderson plug um, so that I can attach any higher amperage things like the inverter um, so that it doesn't run through my 20 amp charge controller. This is just to protect the charge controller. Uh, the inverter has its own low voltage disconnect which will protect the batteries uh, from over discharge now i'm going to connect the wiring that's not connected to the battery yet into the charge controller battery ports and tighten the ports now all my experience with the ports on these solar charge controllers other ones is that they tend to thread really easily or over tighten really easily. So just be careful when you're tightening these that you don't over tighten them. From here, I'll be stepping the wire down to a 15 amp wire because I don't plan on using any more than 15 amps um, in my system at any one time. Uh, also, it'll make it easier to put the wire into the lugs on the MPPT Smart Solar Victron Charge Controller because they haven't made them big enough. Now I'm just going to connect these load bearing wires to the accessories panel. I'm now going to strip and put terminals on the ends to connect it up to the battery and hopefully avoid everything up correctly. No power out here. Now we'll connect it up. Oh, stop it. You can connect up your solar regulator, which also regulates the low voltage disconnect for the battery system. 
at any point in your battery system after the voltage sensitive relay we installed last time. Let's connect up the inverter. So to connect up the inverter, uh, all we have to do is connect negative to negative, positive to positive, turn it around, make sure it's in the off position, and then just plug it in. Now, turn it on. There we go, the inverter's working. Now I'm probably not gonna run the inverter in this space, might get a bit hot, uh, but it's a start just being able to run the inverter even with the cupboard open. So now I'm just going to hook up the fridge to the switch panel over there so that I can turn the fridge on and off um, through the switches on the panel. Moment of truth. I forgot to put the fuse back. So let's give that a second go. Turn it off. Let's try that again. Hey. Hey. Win for Mitch. All I need to do now is connect up a Anderson plug into the photovoltaic port on the solar charge controller. Um, and I can connect my solar panel and it will regulate the input from the solar panel and send the charge back to the batteries. So I've just connected up an Anderson plug to one of the PV ports on the solar charge controller and now I'll connect this to the solar panel extension cord that runs down and out the front to the solar panels. So I'll connect it up and we'll see what we can get um, even though it's a pretty cloudy day. As you can see in the Victron Smart app, um, we're only really getting about 20 to 30 watts of power because of the clouds. Um, and I've yet to test it on a sunny day because as with everything, there hasn't been a sunny day since I got the solar panel. <laughs> so uh, keen to find out what they actually put out. They're meant to put out 300 watts and I'll do a review on them later. So there you have it. Uh, we've got our van auxiliary battery charging off solar. Uh, we've got our fridge switched and running on our switchboard, and we can charge our phones off the 2.4 amp USB plugs. And the alternator is also charging the batteries. So there's multiple ways to charge the batteries, whether you're stationary or moving and a 12 volt port to charge all of your 12 volt batteries and appliances i think it's about time i deserve one of these not that i haven't drunk many from the fridge already <sighs> hmm. cheers